Weekly Information Wednesday, Shalise McQueen here. Per my teaser, I'm talking about short-term rentals. The trend is on the rise to do an Airbnb, rent your house out, whether it's your personal residence or an investment, to other parties on a short-term basis. In fact, what prompted the conversation today is I read an article that over $300 million is estimated to be lost by hotels here in Arizona alone because of the lack of need for lodging. And the lack of need, again, comes from these other short-term alternatives available for people to rent. So why I'm having this conversation is people make decisions and don't necessarily think about the impact of their insurance policy or how their insurance policy really reads and what protection they're really guaranteeing and at what cost. So for example, we have all different types of classifications of homeowner's insurance. We have, of course, one that's a primary residence. You live there. It has a bunch of stacked coverages. And that's for basically people that live in that residence for six months or more at a time. Then if you happen to occupy another home less than six months of the year, you have something called a secondary homeowner's policy. If you happen to rent out your property long term, 12 months or longer, you have a landlord policy. And if you happen to rent out your property short term, which is underneath 12 months or less, you have a landlord policy for seasonal or short term rentals. The reason why this classification is important and by having the right policy is going to protect you from having a loss not covered in the future. So what's going to happen if you rent your home out and did not have the proper classification of the policy? Well, the reality is the insurance company could deny the claim altogether or they may take down the policy to the bare bones, which could just basically be fire protection. And what arises out of having your property rented by others typically is vandalism or theft or some kind of misuse or damage negligence to the property. So it's very important that you have the adequate protection for what you're actually intending to use the property for. The good news is Farmers released a brand new product this year. It's called Farmers Home Flex. And this actually allows us to get the designation underneath your homeowner's policy that you are intending to use the property as an Airbnb on an occasional basis, which gives you the protection of a homeowner and also the added protection of a short-term rental without having to have more than one policy. Now that you have the right insurance policy in place, and if you don't, you need to call me, we have other things to consider and some best practices I want you to take note of. Remember, my background is in real estate almost 15 or almost 16 years actually now in the making and portfolio management. So I deal with landlord tenant basis all the time. And one thing to consider, even going through an Airbnb or using a short term renter, you always want to make sure that you collect the tenants personal liability policy, whether it's an extension of their homeowner's policy at home and you're named as additional insured, or that you require them to take out a renter's policy. That way, in the event that there is a loss that they were quite frankly responsible for, you have someone else to segregate with your insurance company and you're not going to have the whole burden of having to pay out a liability claim or a fire or theft or water claim. And short-term rental or not, whether you're a full-time landlord, you you know your tenant occupies the property for 12 months or longer, or you do a short-term Airbnb, again, it's important to make sure you have the team on your side that understands what you're doing, so you have all the coverages, the adequate coverages accounted for in your policy. And that is where I come in with my experience of being in real estate and also the experience of being an insurance agent. So please, as always, use me as a resource. I'm here for you, not only to audit your policy, try to see if I can save you some money and put money back in your wallet, or just general advice on what I've seen throughout the years, which is quite a lot, let me tell you. As always, you can give me a call at 602-525-5665 or email me at cmcqueen at farmersagent.com. Remember to ask yourself, are you protected? We'll see you next week.